Morning. Morning. It's Thursday, April 4th. Cold start again this morning. Further showers in places last night and we'll see a few of those later on today as well. And it's cold. Very cold for the day. Tonight actually is when maybe not so much Kerry, but parts of Ireland could hit, get some snow and ice in places. Now, we had some snow already in parts of Kerry this week, but uh, it's tonight is going to be the coldest night of the week, actually. Just bear that in mind. But today, yeah, it's about three right now, so it's not okay. the warmest of mornings, but not bad at the same time. Uh, we hope you're in good old form this morning. Uh, let us know what you're up to for the day. Uh, it's a big day in my house, so I'll tell is you it? why in a moment. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, some of the big stories in the papers this morning. A very sad story about a little baby from County Wexford who has tragically died after tumbling down the stairs at home. Uh, baby Shay was 15 months old and uh, lived in Clonroach in Wexford. Uh, where the tragedy occurred at uh, home. Toddler dies in stairs fall is the very sad headline on the front page of the Irish Sun this morning. Uh, the Times Ireland edition then talks about MPs launch angry revolt over leaders' Brexit talks. Breakthrough hopes fade after May meets Corbyn. So last night they agreed that they're going to ask the EU for an extension on Article 50, so an extended extension. Um, the thing with this, though, did you see this last night? It was 313 votes to 312. Oh. They got it over by one vote. Wow. But uh, I was reading something this morning. Uh, the EU could be easily just go, no, forget about it. You're not getting an extended extension. Okay. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Uh, also, move over millennials. Why Generation Z or the Z are the new big spenders? No. Oh, God, who are they? I'm really confused. Are they even younger than millennials? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we have to find out. Uh, that's also in the Times there this morning. And Tracy refuses to express confidence in FAI over Delaney loan is another headline that's that they've come with this morning. That's sport Ireland stuff. Did you hear it? Did you hear any of the audio from I, it? I heard an, uh, yeah, I heard uh, one of them yesterday in, in the uh, when they were being questioned and they said, so can you tell us exactly what, what was in the letter that out outlined the €100,000 yeah. loan? And they were like, they kind of looked at you and went, no... No, just, no, we we don't know what. No, yeah, I I just thought it was mad. Nobody seems to know what was going on. Mad stuff, yeah. Um, right, yeah, they're they're um, people born in the late nineties uh, and early two thousands. That's Generation Z. So they're born in nineteen nine. So they'd be twenty now, right? And younger. Twenty and so younger. So what? Yeah. They've got spending power. So they they now have spending power. I didn't have any spending power when I was I, twenty. I didn't either. I was or lucky. Eighteen. I was lucky to, uh, you know. Get a, get a couple of pound a week. Yeah, or it was it was still at the stage where if you found a fiver in your pocket, you were oh look, if I find a fiver in my pocket now, I'm kind of excited. Yeah, oh yeah, it's That's still one of the greatest feelings in the if world. If it's a yeah. tenner, forget about it. <laughs> found it twenty once. If it's like. a tenner, you won't see it in for two days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Irish Independent front page has got um, news about the property tax. A lot of people talking about this online yesterday. Homeowners in rural Ireland will feel the brunt of property tax hikes under a new system, uh, which is being reformed. Uh, by the government. New figures have revealed the income gap between the capital and the rest of the Ireland is getting even wider as well. Uh, some figures released yesterday about um, who's got the most disposable income and Dublin came out on top on that, obviously, uh, with Limerick in second place, mm. which was interesting. Um, and a lot of tech companies and pharma companies are obviously in Limerick. So well done to them. Doing very well. Uh, the examiner this morning, same story from the FEI. They've war they've been warned that their funding could be cut, and uh, warning as well about hospital trolley crisis could escalate. And there's pictures there. Uh, that's Limerick um, University Hospital, Limerick there yesterday. Right. And the photographs they speak for themselves, just of a, a, a really packed and jammed, packed uh, uh, hallway at the hospital, and people literally lying on hall uh, on trolleys in the hallway. That's on the front page there as well this morning. And council used Google Translate to. Uh, translate a website into Irish the Cork County Council have come on come under fire in the paper I, I haven't read the full article but uh, my understanding is that they use Google Translate and the actual Irish then was, was all off right. yeah, 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 yeah. way, way yeah. off yeah that's also in the example it's a little bit like morning. us using Google Translate to say happy birthday in Welsh or something that's okay <laughs> yeah which we've, that's what it's for which we've never done <laughs> that's alright though <laughs> Um, now, some of the top trends this morning. Uh, cutting edge is trending. Uh, last night, some of the things they discussed, mass, yoga, Liam Neeson, and is it okay to have sex on a first date? Mm. And they bundle all those in together into one conversation. Yeah. Nice. And I, I think they were saying that there's a correlation, or one of them said, sorry, not, not that there is, that one of them said that there's a correlation between mass and yoga and how you should be skipping out and going to mass and grabbing your yoga mat instead. 
after having sex in the first date. After having before. sex in the first date with Liam Neeson. With Liam Neeson. Wearing a burqa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, burqas were also discussed. Burkas okay, discussed so as well, yeah. Quite the mix. Uh, yeah. So that's trending. A lot of people are tweeting about Cutting Edge this morning, uh, last night. Conor McGregor is trending as well. So uh, again, it's been deleted since, but my, my understanding is that he's, he sent, he tweeted a tweet, obviously, about his former opponent, Khabib's wife, which caused outrage. And then uh, he deleted the tweet. And now there's all these rumours that, ah, oh, sure, he's only sparking the fire here again to get in the re- octagon with uh, this fella. So uh, even though he's retired, you can bet your life, lads, we'll see McGregor in the UFC again. Because mm-hmm. sure, they'll throw money at the two of them. Yeah, so he's also trending. And come on, you Spurs is trending this morning. They beat Crystal Palace last night, but we don't really care about that. What we care about is that they finally moved into their €1 billion Euro stadium last night. Did you see it? I did. How's and it looking? Do you know what? I, I, admittedly, it does look really well, but the camera followed. You know the way the teams walk out of the tunnel, they walk side by side and they're walking out with the kids and their hands and yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. holding the hands. And as the camera spun around, I was like, geez, this looks like something out of FIFA, like, okay. a, like an Xbox yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah it, it does look well. And fair dues, they finally moved in. They were supposed to have gone in last August, like. And okay. then there was more and more delays and more and more delays. But they're in now and they won. And uh, yeah. White Hart Lane looks amazing and I think cool. what people are comparing it to is the Emirates Arsenal because obviously that's their biggest rivals and they have more seating capacity than the Emirates and they're like yeah in your face Arsenal <laughs> <laughs> so yeah anyway they won't last um, some of the um, other things happening today it's um, International Carrot Day which I've never heard of but uh, it, it celebrates carrots every year on the 4th of April people are encouraged to hold hang on carrot parties so that sounds class you're encouraged to dress as a carrot today and eat carroty foods a bit of carrot cake speaking of cake my mom in Listole morning mom is quite well known for her bickies that she makes Andrew right they're um, little delicate cookies with strawberry or raspberry jam in them strawberry okay. Strawberry and these ones. And um, if there's anybody who knows my mom watching the video, they've probably tasted her bis- biscuits. I brought some in for you. My mom sent some in. Especially I'll be the for judge Andy. if they're nice or not. Especially for Andy. So I'll we're having Vicky's today. And I have to mention as well, because I'm getting the whole family mentioned today, um, it's my daughter's birthday today. Oh, sure, so, of course. That's yeah. why it's such a big yeah. day in your house. That's why I was a little bit late for um, work. I have a different that? excuse every day. But today's excuse is that I had to put the bins out. And secondly, I put a trail of bunny footprints cause that, that I got for Easter around the house because I did a little treasure hunt for her present. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Well, You're a great you, Well, I'll tell you what I got her, actually, because she's not going to be watching this. Okay. <laughs> she thinks we're crap. Um, <laughs> I got and her. she's not wrong. So she's going to find her card first. Then bunny, bunny footprint, bunny footprint, bunny footprint. To the hot press, where okay. she's going to find a basketball wrapped up. Okay. Bunny footprint, bunny footprint, down the stairs, around the corner, in under the stairs, and a basketball hoop. Nice. Yeah. Do you want know the ones you can wheel around yes. as well? Yes, and this is even better because you're heading into the summer, so she yeah. can get out and use it. So now it's in class. the box still. My dad's there with his toolbox ready to go. They're going to put it together, I think, this morning. But uh, good, good, Prezi? That's great. Well, Yeah, can, she's eight today. Can I say happy birthday to you on behalf of all of us to Amelie? To, to her. Well, yeah, to you, you can pass it to on me. to her. Oh, yeah, I'll make yeah, her watch the video today watch for this. a birthday present. Happy birthday. That's oh, great. Oh, that's really cool. She lights up my world. I love that's her. That's great. And, and of course, she's a... She might watch it today. Trilly Parnell's fan. Or Trilly Parnell's, Trilly oh, Warriors uh, fan Warriors. as well. So, uh, yeah, Trilly that's great. Uh, now, uh, we're going to wrap it up because we need to get on air. We have another uh, 240 quid with thanks to Aonis Gall Black Pudding. Ashes Aonis Gall Black Pudding, which is so nice. But we've got that cash to be won for Who's for Breakfast. That's coming up. Another pair of tickets for the Whitney Houston Greatest Love of yeah. All show. And... I have some breaking news which I thought was an April Fool's joke. It turns out it's actually true. It's not an April Fool's joke. And it's to do with a new type of spread for your toast. You personally, I know, will definitely not like it. Oh. But I'm going to throw it out there and see what all this is. Is it sweet? It is sweet. Okay. You know I won't like it and Absolutely. it's sweet? 100% you will Goodness. detest this. You Hang anyway on. will. Bourbon cream spread. No, but you're okay. not a million miles away. Uh, we better wrap up then we'll go live if you want to hear all about that tune in to us now we're live until 9 o'clock on Radio Kerry and uh, yeah I personally I think you don't want to miss this have you tried the double decker spread yet? no I yeah, have tried Galaxy though oh, was it good? yeah it is good I had it from my yeah. pancakes I'm, I've pancake stayed Tuesday. off chocolate you know for Lent I'm really proud of myself there's so much chocolate in my fridge yeah we must going to eat biscuits okay. anyway so, oh uh, yeah, yeah well they're not chocolate <laughs> they're grand morning good luck